day 13, probably about 10 to, 10 to 12. Um, oh, I'm talking quietly, aren't I? Which is never good. Um, can't wait for Friday the 13th to be over. Hopefully this one will be quite close up on my eyes. So I'm going to try and look at the camera as much as I can. If I can remember. But I do tend to look around. And I'm so weird. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Um, anyway. Today I've rested most of the day so that I could... I was going to drive tonight so that I could take, go out with Sarah and go shopping. But all day I haven't felt like my eyes are good enough to drive. So I've been resting to try and bring down the pressure or do something. Well, unfortunately it just hasn't worked. But luckily Sarah didn't mind driving. She took me shopping, which means I got some food. Yay! Um, and... I was too slow. We managed to spend, I think it was two and a half hours in Asda. Oops. Um, we were like looking at clothes and trying clothes on and stuff, so it wasn't. And um, yeah, I tried to try something on, and I, because <laughs> we went in the disabled. Um, changing thing because I can't obviously if I drop something on the floor I can't pick it up and stuff anyway so there I am trying to try these trousers on I get them halfway up and I went I don't think they fit Sarah <laughs> and they were my size but they just obviously were a very small um they'd obviously accounted for the waist but not chunky legs um, which obviously because I'm a big girl I get chunkier legs so tried on a skirt um, which again so, I mean me and Sarah she's a size 8 and I'm a size 22 might be 24 um, on top I'm about size 18 it's just when my hips it's just my hips and my belly just go whoom um, so anyway, we both sort of picked a fairly similar skirt. I think hers was in black and mine was in pink. I tried it on and it was like, oh my God, how short is this skirt? Yeah, she put hers up to her and it was really long. And then I measured the skirts and they were the same length. And I kind of think, well, if you're going to make them wider, surely you should make them longer. Because it takes more material to get over the tummy. But hey, what am I, what do I know? Um, what else happened today shopping? Um, I mainly bought bras. Just a bit random. Um, but <laughs> I'm going to open up a little. Because I know I'm getting quite a little following going now with my daily di daily diary um, entries. And I'm going to explain why I don't like the 13th. If anyone who's on my Facebook, they'll see that I'm like, whenever the 13th is, I always turn around and go, right, I'll see it, I'm not leaving the house. I'm going to stay in bed. That's because on Friday the 13th of... July 2007 I went on my first date with a man call him Mr X um, then on the th Saturday the 13th of September 2008 we got married and um, basically the rule we sort of had for ourselves was every other month on the 13th we do something special for the other person. Whether that's bring them breakfast in bed or just make a real fuss of the other, make a fuss of each other. A bit like Valentine's Day but every month. Because obviously we, 
well, Mr X had a son who came to live with us, which is one of the reasons why we got married. But anyway, um, and it just, it always reminds me that I picked the wrong man. Um, it just all, I mean, we lived at number 13. Well, I lived at number 13, and then I met him on the 13th. And I always thought 13 was a lucky number for me. And I suppose I can look at it positively and go, well, actually, Mr X was horrid and nasty and it really didn't work. But at the same time, it helped me to grow up. But I think that was more Mr X's son, who I still love dearly and I wish I had contact with, but I don't. Which is hard. It's weird to think he's going to be, if I worked out right, it's going to be 15 this year. Kind of makes me feel a bit old. Um, so yeah, he's, he's amazing, is, he really is. Um, but yeah, that, so that's one bit uh, about the 13th. Because I can't really work out if it's lucky or unlucky. Um, I just tend to hide from it. I'm going to yawn. More interesting news. I got a message on Facebook from... Hopefully I won't get in trouble for saying her name. A lady called Di. Um, letting me know that there's a young lady in the local hospital who's got IIH who um, has moved up from down south and she hasn't really got many people around here and I remember when she first commented that she was moving up here I said well let me know I'll come and say hello so it's quite lovely because I've spoken well not spoken to her but I've through Facebook and text messages, I'm going to meet up with her tomorrow. I'm going into the hospital to see her. Um, hopefully give a smile, make her smile, make her day less less boring. Um, and uh, if she fancies it, she might be on tomorrow's video. <laughs> you never know. Um... I was going to do a video with me and Sarah in it, but I think I... Oh, that's it. My battery ran out on my phone. This one seems to be a really long video because I'm just waffling. Um, I think I should just turn it off and go to bed. Well, I'm in bed, so I can't go to bed. Um, turn it off and go to sleep. Um... I think that's a plan. Is that you? Um, and I've noticed a lot of people do actually watch my videos, but no one ever seems to comment. I don't know whether you obviously watch 30 seconds and get bored. Um, I know I am silent today. I think that's her name. Alice. She sometimes comments. Um... She's lovely. Um, I don't know how you do this whole linking thing, but yeah, look up her. Um, she's wicked. Um, and I've been finding the Twitter. I've been using Twitter this month as well more. And I'm finding it a very positive thing. And I did my first ever follow Friday. Which is all a bit, I never knew what FF meant. Um, but yeah, follow Friday, so I'm getting down with the kids, and, um, I can't remember their names, Little Miss, no, Little Something or Other, she's in Florida, um, big love to you, you've been a fantastic support, 
and the other lady, I know it begins with S. S A. Is it Sabrina? No. It's too short to be Sabrina. Anyway, she was one of the co founders of I, I, I Have IIH. She is amazing, fantastic woman. Um, just such an inspiration. Um, sorry, I can't remember your names. <laughs> I'm rubbish. Um, I'm also really happy for Melissa. Um, it's really nice to see that her shunt's working and her weight loss is helping and things are going good for her. So shout out to you or whatever you do. Um, unfortunately for anybody else who I haven't mentioned, that's probably because I've forgotten because my brain hurts. Um, they've up my gabapentin, I can't remember if I've told you guys that. Um, and she said that I can up it again so that I'm on three, three times a day. But obviously do it slowly so it'll be like, this week I'll have two, three, two. And then if I feel I need to up it again, if that's not touching it, I can then do two, three, three. And again, if it's still not touching it, it'll be three, three, three. Um, I really do feel like my eyes are not working as well as they was. Um, so, I'm hoping sleeping up, sitting up tonight will help them so that I can get to the hospital tomorrow to see uh, my little friend. Uh, my baby girl, but I don't want to say her name because I don't know if she wants me to tell her, tell the world. In fact, that's a good point. Maybe shout outs are not good because then I'm telling the world that they're my friend. Hmm. Oh. Birthday, 30th birthday is going to be a girly night in my flat. Me, Nix and Sarah. Um, and then the weekend after, I'm going to probably go to my mum's. Oh, and Daddy phoned me today as well. And I'm going out to lunch with Daddy on my birthday as well. So, I might have to ask Sarah to drive me to that. I hate having to get people to drive me. I'm so used to driving myself really sucks having people to drive, having to like ask people, can you drive me? I feel like a loser like from when I used to not be able to drive. But hey, what can you do? Because I ain't driving my car and crashing it. <laughs> right, on that bombshell, and I'm going to yawn again and it's going to hurt. Toodly pip pips.